If you're looking for an amazing and exotic destination, look no further than Koh Samui, Thailand. Hey everyone, my name is Human, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five things that you must do when you're out here in Koh Samui, Thailand. For number five on the list, we have temples. Now, you cannot go to Thailand without going to some of the most amazing temples. And in Koh Samui, there's some great ones. Today, we're gonna visit three of the popular ones here. So the most known landmark in all of Koh Samui is definitely the Big Buddha. So just off the corner of Koh Samui, on its own little island, is a 12 meter tall statue of Buddha made out of gold. So one tip when you're coming here, you do have to take your shoe off as you're going up to the Big Buddha. So I would definitely recommend bringing like a sock because these, uh, the floor really gets hot. And whenever you're visiting a Thai temple, just make sure that you're following the dress code, which is no tank top, no shorts, no revealing clothing. And as you can see, I'm wearing pants here. It's actually my first time in maybe two months that I'm wearing pants. <laughs> So here you could help the temple by donating 50 baht and uh, running your name on this brick and donating it to the temple to continue the maintenance of it. And the next temple that you must visit when you're in Koh Samui is Wat Plailam, which is about a five minute drive from Big Buddha. And this very colorful temple is actually fairly new. It was built in 2004 and the architecture is a mixture of a Thai and Chinese style. So peaceful and beautiful out here. This water surrounding, beautiful architecture. It's absolutely incredible. The Wat Prai Lam Temple houses two giant colorful statues that will immediately catch the eye. The first is the huge image of Guan Yin, the Chinese goddess of mercy and compassion who has 18 arms. She's said to have so many arms so that she could help as many people at one time. And here we have the 30 meters high, impressive fat Buddha, which represents wealth and prosperity. All right, so as you can see, Thai temples are something that you definitely must visit when you're in Thailand. And Koh Samui is no exception. Now, so far we've been to two temples today. We're gonna go to one more temple that is very unique. So let's head out there. And the third and final temple of the day is Wat Hunaram, which is also known as the Mummified Monk Temple. Lam Prabang was a Buddhist monk, and in 1973, he died while in a seated meditative position. Ever since, his body has been preserved and it's been on display in a glass case. Most Buddhist Thais are not frightened of dying, and they believe it to be one step closer to enlightenment. Therefore, seeing the dead bodies gives them something to reflect on. And the next thing that you should do when you're in Koh Samui is to take Mai Tai classes. So I typically try to come back to Thailand once a year and the reason, one of the reasons for that is to participate in Mai Tai. And I usually like to do two weeks or so four weeks depending on time and just do like an intensive training here and uh, you just feel amazing. You feel focused, you know, you feel fit and uh, it's, it's a really incredible workout. One Mai Tai session on average burns between 700 to 1000 calories. And here, in my opinion, is one of the best Mai Tai gyms to go to. So if you're in Koh Samui, I highly recommend D-Day Mai Tai Gym. And uh, it's, uh, the, the trainers are amazing, they're very nice and they're very helpful. Mian kam, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you put that. Mm. It's really good. It like gives you a kick, wakes you up. Great thing to have after training. And I'm going to leave the contact information for D-Day Mai Tai Gym in the description. And they have both group lessons as well as private lessons available. So you can go out and contact them for the pricing information. Number three is taking an island hopping tour and seeing some of the nearby islands. Today we are doing one of the popular island hopping tours here in Koh Samui. And we're going to be visiting three nearby islands. And it uh, should be a fun day. Island, 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 so our first destination, which is called Rap or Rap Island. So 
So this is a wrap island. Turquoise blue waters. Guys, this island is absolutely gorgeous. It's a white sand beach, very calm waters. Very clear. So now we are at the second island of the day and it's called Komatsun or Pig Island. And there is a reason why this island is called the Pig Islands. And this is the reason why. <laughs> hey buddies. All right, so now it's time for the third and final island, which is called Koten, and we're going to be heading there for some snorkeling. All right, snorkeling is ready. All right, time to head in and see what's down there. And we are back in Kasumui. Now, if you're looking to do the same kind of tour that I did, the price is roughly between three to 4,000 baht per person. Now, there are options where you could go as a group tour or you could do a private tour, a long tail boat tour like I did. And, uh, and yeah, you could go ahead and book that through several different agencies uh, that are here. Or you could actually come out to Tongkrut Pier and talk locally to uh, the fishermen and negotiate a price. At number two, we have checking out some of the most amazing viewpoints here in Koh Samui. So there are some incredible viewpoints out here in Koh Samui and Jungle Club is one of the best ones. So let's go check it out. So Jungle Club has all of these bean bags that are laid around the restaurant and it's an amazing place to just hang out, relax, grab a drink and just look at the incredible view. By far, this is one of the best viewpoints in all of Koh Samui. And I got myself a watermelon margarita which was absolutely delicious and the price came out to 280 baht which for Thailand standards for a drink is more an expensive side. So you definitely pay for the amazing view here but it's highly highly recommended. One of the most amazing views in all of Koh Samui. Alright, so the next viewpoint that you have to check out when you're in Koh Samui is Lamai viewpoint. The cost to get to Lamai viewpoint is 50 baht if you want to walk and the walk is roughly 10 minutes. Now if you want to take the cable car, it's going to be 100 baht. Good little workout. Look at that sign, tired, tired cable car. And yeah, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> so it says call the, call the car. I guess that's what we do. <laughs> this is interesting. Ah, I see something going up there. Look at that. It's coming down. All right. Carbon. So let's go have a seat. You're going to go up here. Oh yeah, this is definitely much more preferred than doing that 10 minute high climb. Ah. Wow, it's nice. As we're going up, more of the view is opening up to us. I see more of Koh Samui here. And the view from here is absolutely breathtaking. It's just amazing seeing Koh Samui from up here. Incredible. All right, so the next viewpoint that you have to visit is Waterfall Farm, which is a restaurant that's overlooking Hinlard Waterfall. Now this restaurant is on the western side of the island, so it's a little bit out of the way, but still only about 25, 30 minutes away if you're in the north of Koh Samui or if you're in Chuang or Lamai. So it's not too far. All right, now this is quite strange. I don't know where the restaurant's gonna be here. <laughs> it's literally like a hike. Oh, I think it's over there though. This makes no sense. I don't know where this restaurant is. Waterfall farm. The farm. Restaurant? All right, so apparently when I was saying the waterfall farm, they thought I say the waterfall fall. And they kept saying that it's about a kilometer there. So I think we're still gonna find it. It might be that one. That is over there. <laughs> yeah, amazing, yeah. We have made it to the waterfall farm. Beautiful. 
And this place is absolutely incredible. You are sitting right next to the water streams and could enjoy food, enjoy drink, and just hang out here. And the price actually is quite reasonable. I'm getting an appetizer, uh, which is called Miankam, and that came out to about 180 baht. And the Italian sodas came out to be about 70 baht. So given the location that you're right next to this beautiful place, it's definitely a very reasonable price. This is Mian Khan, which is a famous kind of appetizer or snack over here in uh, Thailand. And basically what you do is uh, you take this uh, leaves here and you mix all of these together. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the food and it's really, really delicious. And here you go. And number one is hanging out, sunbathing, or chilling at some of the most incredible beaches in Thailand. So this is Chowang Beach, and this is definitely by far the most popular beach here in Koh Samui. And when tourists uh, arrive here, they tend to often stay in Chowang. Yeah, and this treasure sand is filled with different kinds of beach clubs and restaurants. And from my understanding, this area has recently opened up to tourists. So it's definitely starting to pick back up. This is Elephant Beach Club. I actually come here quite often. Probably by far one of my favorite places out here in Chowang. And uh, yeah, really fun place to grab some food, grab some drink, and uh, grab your laptop or just hang out on the beach. And this, the beach is very nice here as well. As you can see right over there, they got some uh, beanbag kind of thing on the water. So Lemai Beach is another popular beach here in Koh Samui, and it tends to be very popular with couples. Compared to Chawangui, which is more of a party and nightlife kind of area, Lemai Beach is much more quieter. Here you have white powdery sand, beautiful water, and when you come here, you have all the amenities you need. So as you walk along the beach, you're gonna see a lot of different restaurants and cafes, and they all have these uh, benches in the front where you could just relax, have a coconut. It's really nice. And some of the best beaches in Thailand or anywhere in the world can be found here in Koh Samui. And uh, it's really one of my favorite places uh, in the whole world. All right, so that's a wrap for today's videos, and I hope that you liked it. And in the comment section, I would love to know, have you been to Koh Samui already? Is there something that we missed in this video that you recommend? And if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.